Hi YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine and I make faith-based videos, vlogging, and lifestyle videos. Okay, so today we are recording on my phone and that's because I did not charge my camera battery, so bear with me, please, please. I know quality is not as good. So, in my last video, I was talking about rejection. What was that? Oh, a bird. I was talking about rejection, and in this video, we're gonna talk about anger and how to overcome anger. So, I have three points for you guys. The first point on how to overcome anger is forgiveness. Now, this can be hard for some because they believe that like if I'm holding on to this unforgiveness then they'll know that what they did hurt me sometimes the other person may never know what they did hurt you they will go on about their life carefree not knowing that they hurt you or even if they did know that they hurt you and you tell them that you still have to forgive because in order to forgive others you got to forgive yourself and you forgive because you're trying to forgive yourself for allowing that person to take you out of your character, to make you mad, whatever the case may be. And in order to forgive, you have to focus on God's grace. So God constantly forgives us. And that's a way to try and forgive people as best as you can is to focus on how God has forgiven you and how he constantly forgives you. And then that'll help you on forgiving others. It says in 1 Peter 2, 23, when Jesus was going on the cross, he was on the cross, and he said, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing. A lot of people don't know what they're doing, you know? So we just have to be Christ-like, and we have to continue to follow on this path of, if God can forgive me, then I can forgive them. And within this point of forgiveness, you have to learn how to not be easily offended. If the people in the Bible who, you know, made a name for themselves, even people outside of the Bible who makes a name for themselves, if they were offended by the things that people did, then they would not be as far as they were in life. Like the story of Joseph in the Bible, his 12 brothers sold him to slavery, threw him in a pit, like just did a lot of terrible things to him. And then he ended up um, you know, being the second in command of Egypt, and he forgave them. Um, he did, you know, kind of do some elaborate things to like be like, hey, I want you guys to really stick it to like, don't do this again. And that's okay for us to do. Like, speak up for yourself, speak up and say, hey, you did this. I don't appreciate that. You know, don't let people just walk all over you because then you'll be people pleasing. And we wanna, the main goal here is to please God. And so, yeah, if Joseph would have been offended, he wouldn't have been able to save the lineage of Jesus. If David would have been offended by Saul, the people wouldn't have seen how bad of a king Saul was. And so just learning to not be offended by people, learning to not go tit for tat for people, with people learning to not do what other people do to you is it's a hard lesson but it is so important because it'll help you in the end that's the first point um and another point i want to add on to this is that in the word of god it says to forgive 70 times seven so that's limitless you you're not counting how many times people have wronged you because it's, you're going to lose track so just forgive people, move on, live your life. Point two is to think and do the right thing. So an angry person is a fool. Let me, let me actually backtrack. A person that is quick to anger is a fool. And we want to be wise. And a wisdom is applied knowledge. So if we have knowledge... It's just knowledge it's just something in our brain but if we have applied knowledge it is an action it is applying that knowledge to your life and so 
when I say how to overcome anger, you have to be slow to anger. You have to practice self-control. You have to practice patience. Um, the fruits of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And I encourage you guys to look that up. I believe it's in Galatians 5. Look those up, study it, practice it, apply it to your life. Because if you can master self-control and patience, can't nobody get you angry. And this is your body. This is your spirit. You have to learn to rule it. Don't allow other people to rule your spirit or your body. Don't allow people to take you out of your character. Don't allow people to get you angry because it's not their body. It's not their anger. It's not their emotions. It's yours. So learning to rule your spirit through self-control is important in order to overcome anger. And in Proverbs 16, 32, it says, Better a patient person than a... I'm sorry, y'all. My phone ended up overheating, so I kind of got to, like, be in the shade. But this is a nice little ambiance. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Like, if you can get down um, patience and self-control, you are more mightier than a warrior. You are more mightier than someone who takes down a whole city. So keep that in mind. And a more practical, physical way to manage your anger is say you're in an argument with someone, a heated discussion, wait 10 seconds before responding and then respond because that gives you time for your brain to like, you know, it gives you time for your brain to think about what it's saying before it says it. And the last thing I have to say is work to please God and that means to not like sin in your anger so there's two type of angers there's a righteous anger and an unrighteous anger a righteous anger looks like being angry at sin instead of the sinner and so an example would be Peter when Jesus was about to be taken into on the cross Peter he had a right to be angry however cutting off someone's ear in that moment is not the way to go so peter had a righteous anger yet he sinned within that anger so being angry at the sin is what's important not the sinner because he was angry at the sinner and decided to cut off their ear and so we have to remember like it's okay to be angry that's valid it's a human emotion it's okay to cry jesus wept However, we cannot sin in that. We cannot allow our emotions to overtake us. And that is all I have for you guys. I wanted to make it short and sweet. This is a video about overcoming anger. Um, again, the points were forgive, think and do what is right. And the last point is to please God. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.